there's an image that I've seen all over the internet. Okay, that one too, but I meant a different one. There are a few variations on it. Here's one of the main ones. Here's another. This one attempts to highlight how logical the day-month-year system is. However, these images are wrong, and I'd like to explain why. Let's take a sample date. In the US, this would be called March 24th, 1989. In the rest of the world, or at least the English-speaking world, the terminology would be 24th March, 1989. Written out, it would look like this. This happens to be the day the Exxon Valdez ran aground, but that's not really important for our purposes. Now, the first thing you might want to notice is that while the triangle suggests that the date is written vertically, it's actually written horizontally. This means we should rotate the triangle so it looks like this. Nevertheless, advocates of day, month, year will point out that it still goes in logical ascending order. Now, of course, 3 is not larger than 24, but it represents a larger unit, the month of March. The day will increase once each day, while the month stays the same until the entire month is over. And, of course, the year stays the same until the end of the year, making it the largest unit of all. The problem is that in this case, as often happens, the year is not actually a unit. It's made up of two digits, an 8 and a 9 and the 8 represents a larger quantity. Of course, 8 is not actually larger than 9, but this 8 is in the tens column, meaning that it stands for 8 tens, or 80, while the 9 is in the ones column, meaning that it stands for 9 ones, which is just 9. This is why we call it 89 and not 89, though this might come as a surprise to Chad Ochocinco. Again, Think of it in terms of the amount of time it takes for the number to change. The ones digit of the day does change every day, but the tens digit does not. That one takes 10 days. The ones digit of the year changes every year, but the tens digit only changes once per decade. So when we apply this principle to our triangle, we see that it no longer looks quite so logical. The elements are arranged in an order known as little endian, but each element is itself big endian. So, how do we fix this? First, we're not going to change the way we write numbers. Like this number here, the 24, we're not going to flip that around and call it 4 and 20. We're pretty much stuck with big endian order within each element. That means we're going to want to use the same order for the arrangement of those elements putting the year first, the month second, and the day last. This can have some practical advantages. For instance, a list of dates written this way can be automatically sorted without a complex algorithm, provided we make a few tweaks. First, let's look at the year, 89. Okay, is that 1989 or 1789? We could make a rule that we always mean 19, which is what early programmers actually did, leading to the infamous Y2K bug, as legacy programs couldn't handle the fact that double zero came after 99. And certainly as I record this in the year 2012, I want it to be clear that it's not 1912. If I just use 12, that will be sorted before 89, which is a mistake. So, we need to expand our system to include all four digits of the year. Then we have to deal with this 3. If we want a simple alphanumeric sort to work, we're going to have problems if we don't always use the same number of digits. This was a problem in older operating systems, and it's a problem here. Luckily, there's an easy fix. We just add a leading 0 when necessary. Now, compare how the day-month-year system sorts compared to YYYYMMDD. To make it a fairer contest, I'll let the day-month-year system have a standardized number of digits as well. So, how do these dates sort? As you can see, the order under day-month-year is thoroughly scrambled. It takes the least important element, the day, and makes that all important. 
If you've ever tried to look at an archive of blog entries sorted in this little Indian fashion, you know how frustrating it can be. Now here's the thing. I'm used to championing new standards knowing that the effort is hopeless. I think keyboards should look like this, for instance. And yes, this is my actual keyboard that I type on. But 4Y, 2M, 2D is already the international standard, as set down in ISO 8601. ISO 8601 uses hyphens rather than slashes, which does add to legibility and makes this format permissible to use in file names. Personally, I don't use hyphens or slashes. It's true that a block of eight digits can be difficult to read, so I stick a decimal point after the year to break it up. Other variants of year month day are also apparently the standard in much of East Asia, and I'm seeing more and more of it in other places, particularly online. I hope this trend continues, and I hope you'll hop aboard. In the meantime, as for these, a plague on both their houses.